How's it going everyone? It is Andrew from MAO Magic and I'm here with the Moment Wide Angle Lens. We did a uh, kind of a different review for the zoom lens, the telelens, the 2x zoom lens that Moment also offers. So if you're interested in that, you can see the link at the end of this video or on our channel. So we are going to look specifically here at the 18 millimeter wide angle lens, which basically gives you two times more landscape as they say on their website. Now these are a very premium lens compared to many other lenses out there on the market. This is definitely pretty much the highest end that you can go. The very popular ones in the market are going to be the auto clip lenses, which there's nothing wrong with, but there is distortion around the edges and they're just not as high quality as something like this. These are going to be all metal bodies and for the wide angle lens here, it's going to be a five element four group lens and it's just very, very nice. When you open it up, you're going to find a little card inside that's going to give you kind of a cool photo that was taken with one of the lenses that you've purchased, as well as a little bit about the photographer who took that photo. You will see the lens looking straight at you, and it looks very premium right off the bat. You just have a huge lens, and that's the first thing that I noticed was the, the diameter of these was much more than many other lenses out there on the market, and that's actually one of their big features. You will also find a tiny little carrying case inside, which is very handy. Unfortunately, no lens cap is included, but with this little microfiber pouch, it labels which lens it is on the outside, so I can tell that this is the 18 millimeter lens, my wide angle lens, and you can use this microfiber bag to clean the lens itself. Unfortunately, on the other side of the lens, it's very small, so you cannot use this bag to clean inside of there, but they do sell a little cleaning kit on their website that works very well, and it's not too expensive. Now you will notice how hefty these are between the five element lens, the larger diameter, which means larger pieces of glass and that all metal body all add up to a quite hefty piece of glass compared to an olive clip or others that may just be plastic or have some light metal going around the outside. Now, if you're wondering on how this actually mounts to your device, you will get one of these little mounting plates. You specify the device when you're ordering, and you can choose from many different but different devices between all different types of iPhones, some Galaxy Nexus devices, as well as some tablets. The little mounting plate is very, very thin metal and has a little bayonetting system that connects on there just like a DSLR. You'll also find a second piece of adhesive, even though I recommend you do not try to use that second piece of adhesive. The uh, actual mounting plate itself is very, very thin, so if you do have to remove this, it could be a little bit hard and you don't want to damage it uh, just because of how thin it actually is. As far as adhering the mounting plate, all you do is clean off the back of your phone nice and good. You can use some rubbing alcohol if you'd like, then spend several minutes trying to remove the adhesive from the back of the mounting plate. Once you have that peeled off, you will very, very slowly, very, very carefully line this up perfectly above the flash, microphone, and lens of your smartphone. It is very important that this is very centered because if this is not centered, a tiny percentage of a millimeter around that lens is going to end up with distortion when you're actually looking through the lens uh, of your moment lens, whether it's this wide angle lens or the telezoom lens that they also sell. Once you have it where you'd like it good, go ahead and hold that down for a good 30 seconds just to make sure that adhesive is strongly attached. Now, once that's on there, this is really nice because it can go underneath your case. So I actually have a mounting plate uh, for magnetic uh, car thing here. I'm going to throw that down and I can just put this underneath Apple's leather case. This will work under Apple's silicone case. And there's a whole host of different cases that Moment has tried out and that list is all on their website. And you can even submit cases that you've tried and work or don't work so that other people may find that useful. Once it's on there, you can see we have this tiny little black area and that's where we can go ahead and attach our lens. And as I mentioned, this will attach just like a DSLR lens. So we're gonna put that little dot all the way to the left. On an iPhone, it's gonna be the opposite side as the flash and then we're gonna go ahead and rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. That M logo, that Moment logo, and that 18 millimeter are gonna be completely perpendicular if your phone is completely you know straight up and down so you can see where it should line up and it should be nice and secure make sure you go all the way and it locks into place we can go ahead and open up our camera app here and you can simply see we have a nice really wide angle lens now this may not be something that you're going to want to leave on your phone all of the time because it is it sticks out quite a bit which it's not ideal but luckily they do include that travel bag so you can take it with you if you don't want to leave it on all the time now they do include an app as well you can download from the app store for free. This is a great way to connect to the Moment Lens case which basically turns your whole phone into a DSLR with a little shutter button that you can push halfway down to focus and all the way down to take a photo and it connects via Bluetooth. So if you're interested in that you can find it from the app but we're going to look at it just for these lenses. 
you can get into the Moment Store and you can see all other uh, accessories that they may have for your lens, as well as all the different manual settings you can turn on in the app itself. So if I want to really get in there and set the exposure and saturation, everything else like that, I can go ahead and turn those on. I can turn on the grid lines. I can save it as high quality TIFF instead of a JPEG. All of those are options in here. So it's a nice little manual app if you're looking for one of those as well. Then you can also let it know which lens you're using, whether it's the wide angle lens, the zoom lens, or the macro lens. And that's gonna go ahead and take that and write it into the metadata of your photos. So if you're a professional photographer and you like being able to see what you shot this with, you can easily tell. So here we have a standard photo and then we have our wide angle photo here with our wide angle lens on. Here again, we have an indoor shot with our standard standard lens and then we have our wide angle lens. This is really useful for inside as well as photography outside, especially landscapes. It's great, you can get a lot more in. And I know these aren't the best photos by any means, but you can tell there's pretty much no distortion. There's no fisheye, there's no curves. It is a very even looking photo, even though it's very wide. If we go ahead and look at the pros and cons, it has that really nice premium metal body, it has that five element four group lens, has a very nice accompanying app, so you can write that to your metadata, which is great for professional photographers, which is definitely aimed at. It has a nice little travel bag, so you can keep these lenses with you at all times, easily slip them into your pocket or your camera bag. There's pretty much no distortion, thanks to that wider diameter on these lenses compared to the others on the market. And the mounting system is very slim, so it can work pretty much under any case. So as always, we should look at the cons as well. And the first up is that big one. And then it's kind of hard to clean the inside of the lenses. Yes, they do a they do sell a cleaning kit that'll work perfect for that. And it's really cheap compared to the lenses themselves. But I kind of wish something was included because this could be a problem. I have had a little bit of dust come in there. So you do want to be careful with these uh, just like you would with any lens on your DSLR. Uh, you have no lens cap that's included. You do have a little bag, which works. You have some protection, but it would be nice to include a simple lens cap. And they are quite large, which I prefer because that larger size, that larger diameter gets rid of that distortion. But if you're looking for something super tiny, you could pretty much leave on all the time. This may not be what you're looking for. If you would like to pick up one of these for yourself, you can find the link in the description below. If you want to check out the review on the zoom lens which also has some example photography in there you can check it out at the end of this video please subscribe check out our website at maomagic.com at maomagic to your apple newsfeed throw any questions up in the comments and i'll see you guys